Hello friends and welcome to my counselor in fact ask the counselor once again and first of all let me wish you a very happy basant panchmi and for the youngsters happy valentines day so as we indians ready to celebrate anything or any festival with the blink of an eye so i'm sure by the end of the day you must have had your share of celebrations but today what i am going to share is very something very close to my heart and i'm sure it can give you insights to who you are or how your life should be and as i've always said let us make this as a conversation so feel free to write what you think about this video and as i would say my professional journey of more than 3 decades i have had you know my share of struggles unfortunate events or setbacks but then down the line i would say that one day that awakening came that i also realized that i have the power to change this narrative to rewrite my story in a way that empowers me and brings me joy and today if i sit here i would say that i am no longer a victim of circumstance but the master of my destiny and that's why you know i am doing what i love the most i help students i help teenagers i help in fact nowadays i would say my youngest student can be a person who is around let's say 6 years of age and the eldest as long as a person lives so this is my destiny i would say i am the writer director and main actor of my story and this is the script that i have written for myself and i choose to fill it with love success and happiness because instead of dwelling into past failures i would like to focus on the lessons they taught me and the strength that they gave me now i would say that i have empowered myself to such an extent that i embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation yes knowing that each obstacle i overcome brings me closer to my goals and what are failures failures are actually feedbacks which help you to become successful just just the other day i was reading about thomas edison who doesn't know him so obviously he must have done something that each one of has heard about him but i would say a society is such that we are more concerned about the success of the person not about his journey and actually it's there where the learnings lie in the journey 
I read that before inventing that bulb, which we use every day, he did around 10,000 experiments. So 10,000 failures. So obviously he was persistent. But was he doing the same thing and again? No. Obviously he was making some modifications. So he could know the 10,000 ways in which a bulb cannot be made. Till the point he arrived at the conclusion or arrived at learning that that was one way that can help create the bulb and brighten the, illuminate the whole world. So, we sometimes, you know, get disheartened, get stressed by a few failures. Many times even a single failure. I am sure he must have heard a lot from people in his life. Many would have mocked him, made fun of him. But he went on. So people enjoy your, you know, success. Everybody wants to have their pie in your success. But it will be very few who would support you in your failure or in your journey, I should say. So, then who is the best support to yourself? You. Yourself. So, surround yourself with positivity and gratitude. Many people say, I'm unlucky. I can only say to them, you are lucky, that's why you are alive. And if God has kept you alive, obviously there is a purpose to it. Know your purpose. So let go of negativity and self-doubt. I am the architect of my own reality, shaping it with intention and purpose. And as I reinvent my story, I see the world through new eyes. The things that once seemed insurmountable now appear as stepping stones to greatness. I'm filled with a sense of possibility and excitement for the future. Yes. I am the author of my own story. And I choose to make it a masterpiece. What about you? Think, decide and take action. Thank you.